Good day YouTubers, welcome back for a spot of royalty. Prince Charles is furious at Meghan Markle's recent snub. Uh, Charles invited Meghan to be like, the star attraction, the star guest at something he was presenting and she refused because she, there were going to be cameras there and she's at an exhibition and so she wasn't allowed, she made some kind of agreement with ITV that she wasn't allowed to be in a conflicting show at this time. Uh, here we have Charles walking her down the aisle. Okay, basically he's taken a fatherly role and now uh, Charles is really upset at Meghan and Harry. Uh, he just uh, there's a property, I think it's the big property between in, in Ireland, next to, next to the border of Wales. There's a huge property and he's been fixing it up, pouring millions of dollars into it over the years, preparing it for Harry. It was going to be a large estate, 500 acres or something. And he's now changed that in his will to give it to his grandchildren, to some grandchildren. So... Let's look at the relationship between Charles and Meghan, because Charles is the future king. The queen is 93. Charles, at any moment, like today, like as I'm speaking, Charles could suddenly be king. And everything will be in his hands. Uh, so it's very unwise, to say the least, to upset Charles. Plus, he gives them a lot of money. Uh, they have two sources of income. Meghan and Harry have two sources of income, the sovereign grant and money from Charles. Charles can withdraw this money at any time. It's, you know, it's at his pleasure that he gives this money. Let's look at Charles and Meghan, their relationship. Charles. Meghan. Oh, dear. So how is their relationship? Is, is he upset currently? Okay, so Charles, ruler, future king. So 24 plus 5, uh, 29, eight, 8 hearts, water into wine. His relationship is, is changing and being transformed uh, step by step. He's very solid. These are very solid. He's going forward step by step. But the the... The relationship is changing for him. Uh, he's not, I'm not seeing him very upset. I'm not seeing him, you know, throwing dishes or anything. He's just, the relationship is changing for him. Okay, uh, what's going on with Megan? Snake lies in the grass, very vengeful, very jealous. 12, 13, uh, and 6, 19, five clubs, crossroads. So she always wants to be in the spotlight. Uh, and I, I heard someone saying that she is paying her PR firm to put out three, three different news stories a day so that she's constantly in your media stream. And it's true. Everything she does, she's just like a fire starter. She's setting fires everywhere. And she's constantly creating problems everywhere. Constantly. Uh, and... And so every, her name is on everybody's lips all the time. Uh, and it, it can be good or bad, but she is constantly, you know, poking the bear. So she has like, and the snake is very far seeing. So she's working all of her options to be in the, in the limelight every second. And this is, this, that's her rooting. That's. That's her deep, long-term plan, is to, to really be in your grill all the time, whether you like it or not. Veil and Trinity, ten, three diamonds. She's secretly working everything together. So she's working her place in the royal family. He's just starting to feel like she's a problem. 
and she is a problem. She's, she is constantly, she has a long-term plan that she's executing and it benefits her and it doesn't even benefit Harry, even though she's going to tell everyone that it benefits them. Okay, so Charles removed the estate property from Harry. He's, you know, this came up just a couple of weeks ago that Charles, that Harry refused this property, this huge property, like 500 acres. Uh, why would you do that? Um, and that was a property that Charles has been preparing for Harry for his whole life. And why would you do that? Why would he refuse that? So is Charles considering, and he's now giving it to his grandchildren, is Charles considering cutting off Harry and Meghan? Because he can do that. He can remove funding from them at any time. Is Charles considering cutting them off? What's his thinking? Lovers, fence sitter, what's this card? This card wanted to come out. So is Charles considering cutting off funding? Star Bethlehem, fence sitter, lovers. Okay, the close relationship, seven and seven, 14, four diamonds, very solid. Four diamonds is very solid and very money. Uh, fence sitter is, he's on the fence. He's on the fence for the future in this close relationship. Yeah, so his mind is really changing about Meghan and Harry. He's just seeing that they're just wreaking havoc. Uh, and especially Megan, this is all Megan's plan to be in the news constantly, constantly, every second, every second, every second. And they sent them to Africa and Africa was supposed to be like, go and be quiet in Africa. OK, there was talk of them going for six months and then three months and then Harry accepting a, a position in Africa. And then he was going to just work there and live there permanently. Uh, and then they would come back and forth. And then it turned out to be just 10 days. And they took these 10 days in Africa and made a documentary and made it all about themselves. Wow. They were supposed to be quiet in Africa, and look what they did. Okay, so he's really changing his mind. He's really on the fence. Is he thinking of cutting them off? Roadblock, six hearts, and full stop. 14, 20, five spades. We got two blockages. Under, underneath, this is really on the table completely stopping the money full stop of the money full stop stop blockage and stop he can just turn off the tap he this is on the table it's not here yet he's just on the fence he's considering all his options so that is on the table okay so harry attended this this round table in the in windsor Okay, did you see the the crappy setup? I mean, that looked like um, that looked like a high school with those crappy wooden tables. That looked like that guy Milton from Office Space, you know, with the with the red stapler. You know, don't 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 take my stapler. You know, uh, that's what it looked like. They like it's looked like they put them in the basement of Windsor Castle somewhere where no one ever goes, where they don't have access to anything and as far out of the way as possible. That didn't even look like a conference room with those horrible wooden tables. Uh, that looked like, wow, that was the lowest budget Windsor Castle thing ever. So Megan says, Harry crashed the party. She didn't even call him by his name. She didn't even call him H. She didn't call him Harry. She didn't call him H. She was humiliating him. Is Harry now beaten? Is he insecure? Is he losing his sense of self? Where is Harry in this relationship? I saw in a previous reading that he's beginning the seed of beginning to uh, gain some independence from Meghan is happening in him. So where is Harry? Is he feeling beaten, insecure? Is he losing his sense of sense of self? Because that's really... I mean, if he did that to her, she would be really upset at him. And she should be. Okay, but she's doing it to him. 
And he should be really upset at her. All right, what's going on with Harry? Butterfly, very light, transformative. Eight diamonds, cornucopia, woman, 20. Five spades, blocked. Uh, what does that say? The woman has everything. And she's, she's transforming everything. Megan is transforming everything, and it's a problem. King of spades, acts alone, very angry, and conflict. So Harry is very upset at that. He's very upset. He feels set up. She set him up, and then she knocked him down very publicly. That's not nice. He's very upset about that. Uh, and he now feels that she's just completely in control of everything. She's transformed everything. Wow. Uh, so that's not really talking about his feelings. But he just, he's very angry about this. And she's transformed everything. Okay, so we also saw that the queen, uh, there were several pictures, and I was considering showing this to you, where... The queen removed a picture of Meghan and Harry. So she's greeting one guest, and there's three photographs on the table in the drawing room where she greets the guests. Um, and Meghan and Harry are the front picture. In the next picture, uh, there's only two photographs, and the picture of Harry and Meghan is missing. What is the queen considering? I mean, what is she doing? That removing this picture, because that's not an accident. What's going on with the queen? What is she thinking? Roses. Because this is what she does, not what she says. Mother Earth. Okay, so what is going on with the queen? So the picture is missing. Roses, cross, home. Cross is the permanent family and the marriage. Home, marriage and family. Permanent family, 11 and 3, uh, 14, 4 diamonds. So in the front, the marriage and the family, it's very permanent, it's very solid. It's as solid as it can be. Okay, it's as solid as it can be. But here underneath, we have Mother Earth, Coffin and karmic shift. Big changes for the, the, the mother and putting her on the side. 16, four spades. Wow. So this can be very silently making big changes behind the scenes with the four spades. Or the queen can be thinking that she's just, you know, done with them. This four spades, coffin is an ending. She's considering how to end this ridiculous circus that Megan is constantly creating every day, all the time. Did the Queen encourage, instruct Harry to find a bride who is a woman of color? Okay, to modernize the mar monarchy. Because Megan is obviously, she ended up in the royal family because she is the, the diversity duchess. Because she has some uh, African American blood in her, and that's that's the right word. Uh, but genetically, you know, she's the diversity duchess, and and she's so different, uh, you know, in terms of 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 Harry's preferences. You know, Chelsea Davy is a blonde. He dated a lot of blondes. Uh, she, you know, she doesn't fit uh, his, you know, like some some guys they like. Chinese girls. I dated some Chinese girls. Uh, some guys, they like girls with red hair, you know, and they just date a string of red-haired people. I had, you know, my Chinese girlfriend, after we broke up, she married a guy who looks a lot like me. You know, I was kind of her type. You, you develop a type. Um, so 
she's not, she doesn't look, she's not his typical type. So did the queen encourage and instruct Harry to marry a woman of color? I just want to see what the cards say. To modernize the monarchy. Did she instruct this? She, did she request this? Or was this Harry's idea? Okay, so many hands talking, many people talking about children and best. Angel can be just good intentions, so let's see, 9 and 11, 5 spades, that's roadblock. Many people, in, you know, advising Harry uh, with the best of intentions, roadblock, that's a no. Mercury and inheritance, so the royal family and the crown uh, and talking. I'm going to say no, they didn't tell him to do this. This, uh, you know, dating, dating and marrying Meghan is more his idea. It's his idea. I don't see anyone... There's no, there's no ruler card here. There's no executioner card. There's no one ordering anybody... Angel is also a juvenile. Uh, he just, you know, he just decided to marry Megan. You know, and, and that's how it is for a lot of people. You know, the baby timer goes off. And for men and women, they're like, oh, well, it's time to marry. You know, I've got this, I've got that. You know, and they're just ticking off their life, life goals. And if, if they encounter, you know, he encountered Megan at that time uh, under these combination of circumstances, and here we are. You know, maybe that's how it happened. And, you know, there's talk of Megan stalking him and making sure that she's always in his face, always in his face, just like she's always being in the public's face. Every day she's in the public's face, and she's never quiet. She's constantly making a ruckus. And so, okay. So what's the relationship going on between Charles and Megan at this point? Because Megan is, I mean, Charles is furious at Megan because she... She's dishonoring him. Well, it's changing. It's very, very solid. Everything is very solid on the surface. With the queen, very solid. With Charles, very solid on the surface. But it's really changing. Meghan has long-term plans to constantly to just be basically the queen. And she's just secretly working all this stuff out. And people are just starting... The, Charles and, and the queen and William... And Kate, they're starting to realize this. Uh, it's becoming undeniable how determined she is. Is Charles considering cutting off funding? He's on the fence. He's not doing anything about it yet. And there's a lot of love here. These very loving cards. Okay, but yes, he is considering this. We have a couple of fives. Fives are change. This is a full stop. and Or it's not cutting off. It's stopping. It's shutting off the flow. Okay, how is Harry's mind? Is he feeling beaten, insecure, you know, after she, you know, l tricks him into coming to that thing where he was not invited, and then she says he's crashing, she won't even use his name, she's treating him really bad. He's very upset about it. He's very upset about this. Okay, very publicly, she's changing everything. He's very upset about this. Good, I hope he does something about it. Okay, so there's a missing picture with the queen. What message, what is the queen thinking? She's thinking of making major changes and putting a stop to this. Yeah, she's thinking of making major changes and putting a stop to this. But on the surface, everything, they never say anything. She's just going to act. Okay, and, and removing that picture, she's giving a clue. That's a very important clue. So she's... She's thinking of making some major changes. They were talking of sending them to Africa, like permanently, semi-permanently, and they just, not only did things not get better after they fired that warning shot over the bow, now they're much worse. It just keeps getting worse. Okay, the press keeps getting worse. Did the queen instruct Harry to find a woman of color? There's no one, no one instructing anybody. There's a whole bunch of people talking and advising. 
but it's Harry's decision. All marrying Meghan and, and all this, this was Harry's decision. And you never know how these things turn out. I mean, look at Bill Clinton. Look at how he got away with everything. Okay, you never know. Bill Clinton was president. I loved Bill Clinton while he was president. I was very upset that they were trying to impeach him. Uh, now, you know, you, you look at him and you're like, wow, how did he get away with all that stuff? That's what I think. So you never know how these things will turn out. It's kind of up to the person. It's up to Megan how these things turn out. And she's just playing her hand very poorly. So that's your royalty today. That's how I see it. I'm Joseph Magi, author of Playing Card Divination, Fortune Telling, The Magi Method. Find the book worldwide on Amazon and Kindle and paperback versions. Find the full color card deck used here on Etsy slash Magi Method. Please feel free to like, share, subscribe, and comment.